What's up guys? For this quest, you're going to need an unfired bull, a wizard's mind bomb, a piece of silk, a lobster pot, or a crayfish cage, 12,000 coins, 3 planks, 90 steel nails, lots of food, and level appropriate combat gear. And you can begin it by speaking to the guildmaster in the champion's guild, which is just southwest of the Varric Lodestone. When you walk in, talk to the guildmaster and tell him you'd like the quest. He will tell you that you need to go speak to Ozaiac in Edgeville, right here, just north of the Lodestone, on the edge of the wilderness, and he'll give you a quest. The only thing is, Ozaiac's pissed. He's real salty, people keep coming in for quests. So he sets you on one he thinks is impossible. You need to slay the dragon of Crandor. <gasps> so, you need to go back to the guildmaster and get some details. Just, once again, southwest of the Varric Lodestone in the Champions Guild. Walk in and speak to the guildmaster. When you tell him um, that the, the quest you've been assigned... You need to make sure you exhaust all of the, um, make sure you talk to him about all three map pieces and the boat, or you'll have to go back and do it again. And speak to him about the anti-dragon shield, so that you can get that from the Duke of Lumbridge if you don't already have one. So, once you're done talking to the Guildmaster and you've exhausted all the possibilities, you're going to head to, first, I had it, I went to Lumbridge to get the anti-dragon shield. It's the easiest uh, part to accomplish, so I just did it first. So, since you're just going to the castle, I home tell lead. Uh, don't want to waste the runes, I didn't have them on me anyway. Walk right in, upstairs. Um, tell the duke you're going to slay the dragon of Crandor and you need an anti-dragon shield. Uh, once again, exhaust all the dialogue and he will give you the shield. Now we're going to head to Melzar's Maze, um, the trickiest part of the quest. Uh, just teleport to Port Serum and head to Remington. Since you have the key, hopefully, you're going to go in and in the first room you need to kill the small rat with the long tail. And when you do, if you kill the right one, it will drop a key and that key will only... It, it, I don't know if it will only work in the northwest door. Or if the northwest door is just the correct door, but use it on the northwest door. Take the red key. And then once you're through, climb up the ladder. Now you want to kill the ghost with the cape, but without the hood, it took I couldn't tell the difference. They're ghosts. They have hair that looks like capes and hoods. I just killed them until I found the one that dropped it. This guy right here, if you can discern any difference, that helps you. That's why I slowed it down. See, I didn't even realize I killed the right one. I was just killing. Take the key, and you go through the middle door on the east wall. Alright, this time you're going to kill the skeleton with the round shield. And open the southwest door. And he just so happens to die right by the door. So I just kill him, take his key, and go right to the door. Just kidding, it wasn't that easy. I had to look around. Couldn't figure out. See the little jump cut there? I sped it up so it wasn't so bad. But So you're going to climb all the way down the ladders here. And you're going to get into the basement. And there's going to be two zombies there. Um, there's no difference between them. You just kill them both until a key drops. And that opens the blue door. It's a blue key, so it's easy, right? Luckily, I got the key on the first one, or else I'd have been there, you know, like 10 seconds longer. Open the door, and you got to kill Melzar now. Melzar will drop a magenta key, which you can use to open the magenta door. Just take his key, and once you go through the door, you're going to need to kill the lesser demon. And he's going to drop a green key, and you're going to use that to open the chest just on the other side of the door, and that will contain Melzar's map piece. 
I was a little level when I did this, so it took me a little while to down the lesser demon. Yep, search the chest. Get the map piece. And head out. You can climb up the ladder right there to your right. And right out the front door. And now we're going to go to Ice Mountain. Um, we're going to talk to the Oracle, and she'll tell us where the next map piece is. So she'll give you a little riddle, and this is where you need the Wizard's Mind Bomb, the Unfired Bowl, the Silk, and the Lobster Pot, or the Crayfish Cage. So you're going to go down in the Dwarven Mines, and there's a crazy looking door when you walk in that is just to the west, if north, it's to the east. Had to think out loud for a second there. So you want to make sure you use all the things. Like the Wizard's Mind Bomb, you can drink it. If you drink it, it's a little hassle. you got to go get another one. Just use all the things on the door. And once you've used the last item, uh, you can open it. Go in and open the chest. Uh, there's going to be a warning on the chest. It's some lore stuff. If you're into that, read it. I just want to kill a dragon. Now, once you got that, teleport to Port Serum. I'm going to go to the jail and talk to the goblin. Now, if you have an appropriate magic level, you can range him down and then telekinetic grab the piece. But my uh, magic level wasn't up to par for telekinetic grab when I uh, filmed this. So I had to pay him the 10,000 coins for his map piece. Once you do that. You get the third map piece, and you can combine the map. And now we're going to go get our boat, the Lady Lumbridge. Since we're already in Port Serum. Talk to, talk to Clarence. Um, say you'd like to buy the boat, and this is where you need the planks. And And then you're going to head to Clarence. And then you're going to go to Drainer Village and talk to Niles. He also does the diaries, so he's just got the, the green star. So talk to him, ask him if he's uh, he'd like to take you to Crandor. And he says he's up to it. So once you do that, uh, run to the bank, stock up on some food, grab your dragon shield, grab your anti-fire potions if you're using them, and home tell you to Port Serum. Talk to Niles, tell him you're ready to go, and you'll be greeted with a nice cutscene. Uh, you get attract attacked by the dragon. And you need to head to the top of the island and go down into the dungeon. You'll be greeted with a nice another cutscene. And now you just head into uh, Elvarg's little den. You gotta climb over the wall to get to him. And the fight's on. Make sure you have your dragon shield equipped or you will get messed up. He's stronger than a green dragon. Take his head, go back to Ozaiak, and once you've completed the dialogue with Ozaiak, um, that's the quest completed. If this helped you, please leave a like, and uh, thank you for watching.